Shathra, the allies to the demons, continued to thrive under the power of the cult's dark deity. Yuri Sabrig, the black spider of obsidian, has remained hidden, but now it is finally free from danger. Okay, yeah, the the Swarduk Zathra, that was a painful one. Hopefully we can improve on things here. We still don't have a good weapon though, so I, I, I don't know what would change. I guess we have a little more experience in fighting with those weapons. We have a little bit more stamina, so that might make the difference. Certainly something needs to improve, otherwise we have very little chance at the end game. years of service to his people, they flung from their dwelling place a sacred monolith that pierced the ground in Alpha Loom, causing a spring to gush forth from the dry sand, with purest and most abundant waters in the region, in thanksgiving for this bounty from the heavens. This temple and all within it was erected, where Sawan, the traveler, guards the yellow gem. Yeah, we're not gonna use you. I guess we'll start with this one. This is a safe bet against every opponent. Yeah, uh, goblins. It's probably better against goblins. I don't have all that much life. Two hits to kill. Okay, this seems like the better weapon here. We have goblins that either get killed by a single strike or two strikes. That old won't go down with two strikes though.
Sacred Forest. We're not doing too badly here. Not exactly great either. A lot of archers. Uh, I know what we need to do here. Sacrificial altar, and thus shall we contemplate the grandeur of the gods. So we already found the sacred pool. We need to do find the sacred empty bottle. Many objects of this type, really. So, at least our healing item situation has improved. Hmm. Uh, I'm not going to be exploring too much at this point. I want to get rid of the archers. Very good attack because I can now I can afford to spam it continuously. So they don't have a much of a respite from the con continuous attack. Combat attacks, yeah, not ours. So what's the weapon we can get in here? Usually there's a weapon or a mission. It doesn't have to be a new one, but it's something. The game basically making sure that you have a weapon that you can complete the mission with. And though it's might not be easy, but you can do it. Five five hundred. Five five hundred. I'm not drinking them now, I have a lot of archers to take care of. We can come back here later and re on life. If things go badly, then surely there will at some point. Better take care of the sacred bomb and crap. This this will limit a one quest item at a time, so uh, I don't know why the limit is that. What good does it any does it do for anyone to be limited on to one quest item? Be careful what you pick up.
can accomplish. Just isn't good enough. Water, fire, measuring rod. How bad we fail. We need a sacred torch to carry the sacred fire. I don't really recognize the bubbles from their picture. I think they I should be each is different. So Yeah, I don't really recognize full life is definitely different. Not sure about the other two. Well they're different but I, I'm not sure I could Distinguish them from each other from the mini icon. Full life is clearly visible though. Doesn't really resemble the others. Archers. Sacred torches. Sacred fire, sacred water. We focus on anything extra after that. They yeah, are the measuring rod. Measuring rod, measuring rod. I think this opens up new passages. Go there now, then. But we are going to. So we're going to hunt down the room that's here. Hmm. 
I think I discovered this when I played it with the dwarf. Surprisingly, though. Oh, that was terrible. Don't care. The damage from these in the close combat, the archer versions, not too. Not too damaging. Yeah, it's very easy to spot. We need to go there, but how do we get there? The only version is there. We need to get there. A little bit of platform for trouting from there and jump from jump from it. It's really a... It's not a permanent wall. I'm glad. Shit. Amulet is some kind of a quest item. It's a problem because uh, I can't pick up other quest items now until I've used the amulet up somewhere. So I shouldn't have picked it up. There's a way to get past that because all these items take uh, take up position here. Uh, we can get past it by simply not picking up a power potion when we find it. So. It's not a huge deal, but it's a uh, stupid game design. We'll leave the power portion there for now. We don't quit. So that's 10 additional arrows. Always in handy. Not too hard of, of a place to reach. Yeah, this is gonna take a few weeks. Take a look around. A great maze. This is where the moon is. I might get a level up with 
If we do, we stay extra health. Pretty much anything will give us a level up now. So I'm certainly not gonna use any healing, healing items. Usually these are trap. Just trap places. no fighting. A fairly simple trap. Yeah. Ah, too bad the uh, jumping is what it is. It's more it's a bigger problem with the Barbarian than it was with the Dwarf. The Barbarian jumping distances are very... ...inconvenient. Because I, I think there's a good chance he'll overshot this. You have, you, if you jump at the edge, like you would feel like jumping, you, it'll look, it'll take you too far. So I, I definitely don't appreciate these jumping things. Traps are fine. Anything related to jumping and instant deaths, I uh, do not want. Of how Ayana expelled the gods from their dwelling place and kept the earth close to them, keeping behind her works and creatures, and how Spenta Manuel watches over the earth from the sun, and Ayana dwells on the moon to watch over the night from there. From that time on, then, the succession of day and night reigned over life on earth. <laughs> Biggest challenge of these places really is to just find them. They're not meant to be all that challenging. You always know there's a trap, so just have to figure it out what what they're going after this time. Uh, so now all the side tracking is done. Go back to business. We need to find a measuring rod. 